It's good to have a nice sunny day. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's go through announcements just really quickly tonight. We've got uh, life groups in uh, Bloomfield and Ottumwa. So if you need to get into a life group, and I think that you do, uh, you should come to one of those. Uh, talk to either Bo or Marcy or myself, and we'll get you hooked up with one of those groups. Uh, this week, tomorrow night, we've got our uh, men's Bible study, and we have a treat for you, men, if you will come to the Bible study tomorrow night and every night in the month of June, we are going to have our teenagers fixing us a meal, okay, because out of the, not just out of the generosity of their own hearts, they're, they're wanting a little something. We're going to try to help get them to camp, so we're going to do a free will offering. So men, if you'll come tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, we will have our Bible study and we will have uh, a meal, I believe tomorrow night, I heard is, is some delicious spaghetti. So uh, come men tomorrow night, bring a friend, and we'll have a good time Tuesday night this week starts the Davis County Prayer Walk. So that's when we gather at a specific spot, a different spot every Tuesday, and we just kind of walk uh, a route and pray while we walk. This uh, week we are starting in the high school parking lot, correct? South High School parking lot. And uh, we will meet there at 630. We'll have a little devotional. We'll have a time of uh, maybe a couple songs of worship, and then we will uh, get started on the walk and prayer. It's a really great opportunity to let our community know how much we just want to pray for them and care for them. And uh, we'd love to have as many of you join us on that, as well as invite, if you have friends in other churches, we want the entire this to be a community thing. So come and be a part of that. Wednesday night, we have all of our regular stuff. Saturday, uh, wedding at 5 o'clock for Connor Davison and Samantha Williams. So that will be an exciting time. And you can see other stuff that we've got coming up. Uh, quickly, I want to take time. Scott is going to come and share with us if he's ready. I hope he's ready. He's coming. Scott's going to share with us about an upcoming uh, prayer opportunities that we're going to have in the church. And then uh, Everett, if you would come up here, go ahead and come make your way up here with your stuff. We're going to talk about Everett and what he did this weekend after Scott shares uh, what's on his heart. And while he's coming, let me remind you too, June 5th is a VBS meeting. Uh, VBS, can you believe, is just a couple of months away. Uh, so if you are uh, interested in being a VBS worker, there's a form in your bulletin that you can drop um, in the offering plate or you can give it to Jennifer Jackson uh, and just kind of get signed up there. For the potluck today, I just got this note here, uh, for the potluck today, when you go back to the back, if you would find your spot to sit and then we will kind of dismiss to go line up and eat, uh, get your food um, by kind of rows there because it gets really crowded pretty quick back there. Uh, so go sit first and then we'll get you in through the line. I think that's everything. All right. This looks different from up here. <laughs> There's a lot more of you from up here than there is from back there. Um, I had some people come to me and ask me if I wanted to do some uh, prayer leading. Um, so at the end of this month, on Thursday evening, the last Thursday of this month, we're going to be uh, meeting here around 6.30. Um, we're going to do a corporate prayer. I don't know how many of you know what that is, but if you look through the Bible... Uh, I was looking through this morning and found at least 100 references in the New Testament and some more in the Old Testament about coming together as Christians and bringing our voices together and raising it to God. Um, and this is going to be a, it's not, it's a time of fellowship, but it's a time to really focus on prayer. Some of us are a little bigger than some, and the walk may kill us. So uh, <laughs> this is a way for us to also come here. We'll meet here in the sanctuary. Come up to the altars. We're gonna we're gonna pray for the community. Is gonna be our first thing. We're gonna pray for our community as a believers, of believers, so that we can go out into our community and make disciples of them. Thank you. Um, yeah, Scott came to me and then and, and shared what was on his heart, and and I really think there's an opportunity here for us to to really uh, learn how to worship through prayer. Um, there, there'll be, I think, some times of, of, of singing and fellowship and, and just sharing what's on our hearts. But, but being able to worship God through the submission of prayer is a really powerful thing. And so I'm excited to see where God leads Scott in that venture. That'll be June 27th, I believe. And it'll be the last Thursday of every month going forward from that uh, as we uh, kind of evaluate how that goes. So, uh, Dorothy, you want to come up and talk about Everett's exciting weekend? 
So Mr. Everett went to, he qualified for the regional quiz in Kansas City. And so this has been about two months ago. And for about the first month of this, we weren't sure there was gonna be a regional quiz because there wasn't a place. So we kind of stopped studying because we thought that was the end of our quiz year. And then we got a, an email that we're having a regional quiz. So we got some studying in and he did all right yesterday. He did, um, they, we didn't realize they were gonna change the format of the questions. So normally at this level, all the quizzes he's been to, he's seen the questions, he's seen the answers. And so that's how he's prepared. Well, yesterday they threw in um, another round. So he had 15 additional questions that he wasn't used to and um, they changed some of those up. So he had to have a little bit of understanding of what he was reading and what he's been studying. So um, the first round he missed zero. He had a perfect score. And then he missed one in the second round and one in the third round. He ended up with gold. And as far as I could tell, he was ninth overall. So that's pretty darn good. <laughs> That's awesome. Dorothy is our children's quiz director, and, and we would love to have your child, uh, first grade or kindergarten, kindergarten through sixth grade, first grade through sixth grade, something like that. Uh, and we'll get started back up about August or September next year with uh, children's quizzing. It'll be the book of Genesis, so really good one for them to get involved with. And so be praying about that, and we'll get more information out as that comes up. All right, it is time. We are going to honor and celebrate our seniors. So if you guys want to stand up and just kind of turn around where you are, um, and then Chris, if you want to come up here, uh, I'm not going to have you talk, you know, I know you're, you, you get nervous sometimes, but, uh, if you can help me hand stuff out, I don't know the order of what I've got stuff, but we've got a, a Bible for you guys. We've got a laundry basket of goodies. I hope you all know how to do your own laundry by this time. Uh, but, uh, that's, those will be for you and, uh, all kinds of good stuff. We just want you guys to know how much we love you. So I can't see you guys. So I'm going to do this. We want you guys to know how much we love you and how much we're glad that you're a part of this church, your families are a part of this church, and we want you to know that, that as you take this step, uh, this next step into to wherever God's got you, that we've got you too, okay? Whatever you guys walk into, whatever you guys face, you've got people here that love you, that are going to continue to be praying for you, and we're just excited to watch what God has for you, all right? So don't they look good? They look pretty good there, okay? we got four Davis County graduates, and then Katie graduated from a homeschooling program. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. Is there a name to it? Iowa Homeschool. So that's why she's not in the, the maroon and gold, but that's all right. I like that blue. That looks good. All right. So we're going to present these. This, the first one's to Hannah. So I don't know where Hannah's back. Hannah, come on over here. You got Oh, good. You're right there in front. Okay. This Bible is for you from the Grace Point Church of Nazarene. Hannah uh, Grimm, you are going where next year? I'm going to Kirkwood up in Cedar Rapids. That's way too close to Iowa City, but that's all right. We'll get, we'll get over that. What are you going to be studying? Um, I'll be majoring in vet tech, specializing in surgery, and a dog groomer. That's awesome. Congratulations. Let's give uh, Hannah a round of applause. Awesome. And this is yours. Make sure you do not eat the snacks in church, okay? All right. Let's see who's next. Next is Katie King. Katie, come on over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is your Bible from Grace Point Church in Nazarene. And Katie King, uh, what are you going to be doing next year? I'm going to be doing, I have a certificate in vet tech, and I'm going to be a vet assistant. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Um, and uh, is that going to be around here, or are you going somewhere? Knoxville. Knoxville. Knoxville, okay. okay. And then Katie's basket right here. Katie, congratulations. Give her a round of applause. Good stuff. Okay, this one, I don't think it's going to be Regan or Draven. This one's going to be Courtney's. Okay, come on over. Regan, Regan was eyeballing this one. Okay, all right. Well, we'll give this one to Courtney. Courtney, this is presented to you from Grace Point Church in Nazarene. Now, Courtney, where are you going next year? Indian Hill. Indian Hill studying? My, to get my Associates of Arts. Associate of Arts, okay. Now, you are going to stay home, aren't you? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So we're going to see you in church, aren't we? All right, all right. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's this is this is your basket, and uh, congratulations. Let's give Courtney a round of applause. All right. This one is for Draven. Draven, come on up here, buddy. Here you go from Grace Point Church in Nazarene. Now, what are your plans for next year, sir? Uh, 
to go to William Penn and study criminal justice. Criminal justice. Now you're going to be playing, playing football there? That's pretty cool. William Penn in Oskaloosa, so not too far away from mom, right? That'd be, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, congratulations, brother. Let's give Draven a round of applause. Oh, bud. Good stuff. And last but not least, he's the tallest, Regan Warning. Come on up here, buddy. That one's yours. Oh. I didn't even realize we were doing, I forgot they were doing pictures. Did everyone else get a picture up there? Okay. All right, so Regan, what are you doing next year? Uh, going to Graceland and study business administration. Business administration. And you're playing football too? Yes. Okay, Gr uh, Graceland is in Lamoni. Is that right? All right, so that's not too far away. It's pretty good. All right. Well, congratulations. Let's give him a round of applause. Good stuff. If you guys, did, uh, yeah, set that down over there, and I just want you guys to stand here. If I could have uh, parents and family, siblings, uh, I know it's kind of, uh, you know, might take a lot of you out here, but I want you to come on up. If you are related to these individuals, I want you to kind of gather around your person. Yeah, spread out a little bit. Spread out a little bit. I want families to gather around. Good stuff, guys. Katie, Katie, keep going that way just a little bit. Go that way just a little bit. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Man, I'm gonna get lost. Let me uh, let me pray over you guys, and if you guys out there just kind of you know if you want to read uh, say out a prayer as we're praying, but uh, I want us as a church to commit to continuing to pray for all of these guys. Right, we're gonna con con continue to uh, to lift them up in our daily prayers, our thoughts, and uh, as they may need help in this life, we want them to reach out to us. Amen. Like that's, we don't want them handling these things on their own. They're going to face some stuff in this life, and we want them to know that they've got a, a church family who loves and cares about them. So let's pray over them. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we just ask for you to come and anoint each one of these young adults that are, be going, uh, they're go that are going to be going off into this new phase of life, this new stage of life. And, and, and Father God, we trust that they are um, seeking after your will for their lives. And there's some great plans, uh, some great ideas that they're working through, and, they, and they've taken these decisions on where to go to school next year. And Father God, I just pray that you would bless them, but not that, that you're blessing their ideas, but that they're seeking after and walking after what you've directed them into. And so, Father God, I pray that you would be with each one. Be with Regan, Father God, uh, as he goes off to Lamoni. Keep him safe, Father and direct his steps. Father, for Draven, that you would keep him safe in Oskaloosa, that you would help him to see your path for his life, Father, that you would be with Hannah, uh, Lord God, as she goes to Cedar Rapids and, 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 and is a distance away from home, but, but Father God, we're going to trust that she is seeking after your will and that you are going to keep her safe right there. Father, for Courtney, uh, going to Indian Hills in Ottumwa, Lord God, that you would help her to see the path that you want her to go and that as she continues to move along that path, that she can just place her trust fully and completely in you. Keep her safe, Father God. Father, for Katie, that you would uh, continue to keep her safe uh, as she goes to this, this uh, school in Knoxville, Lord God, and that she's going to be uh, uh, trying to, to follow after your will for her life, that you would just light that path for her, Lord God, and that she would just walk in it uh, boldly, Lord God. Keep her safe. Father, we love you, we praise your name, and we ask for your blessings on each of these families as moms and dads realize that their kids are, are going away or they're growing up, Father God, that you would help them to nurture that relationship with each other, that as their kids and teenagers are going from this life of a teenager to the life of an adult, that that changes the relationship a little bit and that, that you would be at the center of that, Father God, and that you would be guiding those discussions when, when, when these young adults need advice and need a, a next step that you would, you would just show these parents how to love them best, how to lead them best, Father God. We love you, we praise your name, and we thank you that they are a part of Grace Point Church of the Nazarene. And Father God, I, I pray that you would just keep them on our minds, on our hearts, so that we can lift them up whenever you direct us to, Father God, so that, that they are just bathed in prayer. Lord God, we love you, we love them. Just bless this time in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.